up guys Sean back with another scam fish video and okay in the other videos you guys have told me Sean it's not just the women getting scammed it's not just lonely older ladies that uh, trust me I am fully confident in our ability to be idiots men fall for stuff all the time we are probably not the smartest of the two genders I'm usually shocked the woman's getting friggin caught up in this but guys I am very confident in our ability for that thing in our pants to lead us the wrong direction and get us into a hell of a lot of trouble. So we're going to check out a guy today. But I'm not going to be surprised when I see this. Just saying. Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented by SocialCatfish.com. Today, we are speaking to a man named Rob from New York. Rob met a woman named Sarah on Facebook. Oh yeah, buddy, you definitely got adult stars slide into your DMs. And if she's not, I'm sorry, but she looks like she could work the part. Dating. The two hit it off and began a relationship through texting and phone calls. Rob came to us after sending Sarah close to $20,000 for food and traveling expenses so they could meet. He fell for Sarah so hard, he planned to leave the mother of his child so he could be- Oh, you scumbag. 20k at least he got off cheap compared to that other chick that gave a quarter mil but what that's a lot of money still 20k is a lot he got off cheap though at least that happened. begin his relationship once he met sarah in person let's see if we can get to the bottom of this real quick guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe your comment and like <laughs> could help stop someone from being scammed let's get into it Hi, my name's Rob. I've been living in my house for probably 22 years now. With your wife and you were gonna leave her up and just out like that? That's pretty scummy, buddy. I ain't gonna lie, you're kind of a scumbag. So I'm an avid tractor puller. I love working on tractors, that's my hobby. I'm a maintenance mechanic, worked in Buffalo. I met Oh, he's definitely trying to see what that pipe wrench do with Sarah. This girl on Facebook, her name is Sarah. Beautiful girl. She's got long red hair. She says she's 36 years old. A lot of tattoos. And I know she loves my- That's a lot of damn butterflies. That's crazy. You couldn't have just got one? My mom has a big butterfly tramp stamp. She regrets the hell out of it. But it's so funny that that's the only tattoo she got. And that thing's friggin' massive. Funny. <laughs> the first couple of pictures I got from her, I really fell in love with the pictures. Conversations that we had were like, uh, she wanted me to say I loved her. And if a chick just comes out, Handsome, how you doing, baby? I love you. At least that's the way I've seen it when it's those friggin' scammers. What's your bank details? That's usually a red flag. And I don't know what about Sarah that you saw and you were just like, oh yeah, this chick's definitely hurting for a squirt and I'm gonna get a hold of her. And I really didn't start doing that till, say, like a month or two afterwards. But she kept saying she loved me. And I said that I, I would like to meet you. I would like to see you. I, I would like that relationship. I, I'd like to live with the girl. I would like to uh, uh, start a life with her. I would like to have kids with her. I bet you would, buddy, but you're jumping in awfully quick. She's saying I love you. Usually love bombing is a big red flag, but the fact that you're like, I want to move in, I want to live with her, I want to suck a fart, I don't know. This dude's just all about this chick, and you're friggin' married, mister. That's not right. Just, just live with her, you know? Sarah, that I know of, does not have no kids. She loves butterflies. She's got tattoos all over her body with butterflies. She loves that. There was... Okay. That's all you know about this chick? Butterflies? Give me some friggin' details, guy. I don't care about the damn butterflies. There's times uh, to where we did talk about sex a lot. She wanted it. I wanted it. But there was always an excuse why she couldn't see me to do it like right now she says she's in the uk that has got to be the longest period that's ever friggin happened like a couple years babe i'm on my period and also as a man you're born with a built-in girlfriend her name's rosie and she's got five friends go play with rosie palmer and i don't believe that because she won't give me the address or anything 
I've had a couple of calls from her, but she seems to cut them short and she just wants to uh, uh, text all the time. And I, I'm not a big texting fan. I'd rather talk on the phone. So she gained my trust a lot. Oh, yeah. You're definitely about to get it from Bubba the Booty Bandit because it's probably who that friggin' is. And the thing I regret doing is sending all my information. Social security number, my driver's license, uh, just a bunch of stuff that I never should have sent, but I sent. Oh, my God. Because she had my trust. Did you give her your friggin' dental records, too? Like, buddy, what is going on here? You have a wife. You're so, oh, my God. The first time I started sending money to Sarah, it was her birthday. She wanted something for her birthday. A Lamborghini. So I says to her, I says, well, I can send you 75 bucks to, you know, get you a gift or whatever. And then she just wanted money. And then she... Buddy, these lashes ain't cheap out here. I just bought a thing of friggin' Grande Lash Serum. That was like 75 friggin' bucks. Wanted it in gift cards. And I was like a little, well, I don't know how to do this. Uh, a little leery on it. And she just... Well, send me a hundred. I says, no, I'll send you seventy-five. She always pushed for more money. She's oh, been man. there for six. Sounds like friggin' Katy Perry when I was dating her the other day. She wanted a Steam gift card for concert tickets. She was gonna send them though. She swore I could get up to three concert tickets. Six to eight months now, I guess, in the United Kingdom. When she left to go to the United Kingdom, she never told me that I had to support her when she was there. She told me this after she arrived there. And I was like, what is this? I said, I, I, I can't do this. I oh, buggy, you're a friggin' piggy bank. You ain't nothing else. She is not looking at you in the dating pool. You are piggy bank. I was looking for other avenues of money. Uh, a couple of credit cards I had. One new credit card I started. So I just kept oh, sending her money and I think that the money total now is like over sixteen thousand dollars. Every time Rob would say Bro, if somebody asked for money that I'm not even friggin' like I don't know you like that, I've never met you, you ain't getting it. Like my girl, she's got my friggin' credit card, but I trust her. She's not gonna rip me off and I want her to have it if she needs something and she's in a tight spot send money to Sarah, it'd be through gift cards. He had gift cards all over his garage, along with the receipts. We estimated Rob had sent Sarah around 200 gift cards over the course of them talking online. She wanted me to pay for her hotel room constantly. It was like $2,000. Bro, you tell her ass to get to Motel 6 to get the step in. I'll buy you a tent for 60 bucks. Every couple weeks or something like that. And I, I got to the point to where I was running out of money and I had to do something. She said she had to have $2,800 for her lawyer because she was supposed to get her inher inheritance. Damn, everybody's getting these inheritances. And all these damn inheritance taxes gotta come from lonely men or lonely women. I didn't know that. Because her father passed away and left her a bunch of stuff. Rob was running low on money at this point. He had already sent tens of thousands of dollars to Sarah. The inheritance was supposed to be for him to pay all his bills off and Sarah would finally be on her way to New York. Bro, at this point, if I'm him, I'm probably thinking I'm not far behind you. I'm going to die of blue balls if we keep doing this. Rob felt that this was the only way and he needed to make sure Sarah received her dad's inheritance. He was willing to do whatever it took. I took it out of my 401k and I gave it to uh, her through gift cards, all of it. Oh, you stupid, stupid, stupid. I told you, it never amazes me when men do this. Because you women are born with the perfect friggin' weapon. If I was a woman, man, I am using that thing like a friggin' machine gun. Ain't nobody getting away from me, man. You got a pot of gold between your legs. I would so be a OF girl. Oh my god. After so many days, it was $2,800 to get it started. The lawyer talked to me, told me this is what you get started and you got to finish it right to the end. And he kept saying, keep it quiet. Don't let anybody hear anything. Don't tell anybody anything. 
Sarah would always know what to say. <laughs> Whenever Katy Perry thought I was going to the store, I was like, you liar. The person at the store told me, you're not really Katy Perry. I'm going to find you. You mess with the wrong lovesick fat boy. <laughs> at the right time, the right place. Anytime I texted, she was right there. I, I liked that quality in her. And sooner or later after that, the quality started falling back. I was married for 10 years, over 10 years ago, and my ex-wife, that's all she was concerned about was money. I mean, money plays a part in a relationship, but at some point, you had to let the flame go out too, buddy, especially if you were sitting here friggin' fantasizing about Sarah all day. All right, she wanted money, left and right. It, any amount of money didn't make her happy. I, I see the... The simul simulation with Sarah on money. It, it's just no amount of money is going to make her happy. I says, I, I, I kept telling Sarah, I says, I lived this life 10 years ago and I got. No, buddy, you are totally used to doing this. Like sending gift cards to pay a lawyer. You're stuck on stupid. I got divorced because of it because I couldn't do it no more. I'm going to make the same decision with you. I got a 14-year-old son now. I'm living with another girl right now uh, for 14 years. I used to work with her. We love each other to death. Uh, I'll give her the world. You know? Oh, buddy, you are a scumbag. I already said that, but the ex-wife is living with another chick while he's still sitting here sending friggin' Sarah Steam gift cards to get nudes. Come on, man. That stuff's free on the friggin' hub. You get five videos. You need more than that, you probably got ED. No. Any, anything I can possibly give her, I'll give her. She works. Uh, she does anything for me. Make my lunch every day before I go to work. She's a little on the bigger side. She's probably 220 pounds. Five. Are you fat shaming right now? Because I'm going to get triggered. Five foot four, five, five, maybe. I mean, a beautiful girl, but she's just bigger. She's on the bigger side. My thing was, Sarah's a very beautiful girl. She probably weighs a, a 130 pounds soaking wet, 100, maybe 140. Bruh, and what on earth made you think that Sarah's definitely going for the old man down the block? She needs a little bit of wrinkles in her life. I mean, to each their own, if you like older wet, like women or older men, whatever. But... I don't think Sarah's sliding up into the retirement home looking for her next boyfriend. I, I would love to be with a beautiful girl again. All right. My girl's beautiful. She's just 220 some pounds. And it, that just kind of turns me off a little bit. She can lose weight. You're always going to be a jackal. I've never married her. I've, I've told her I would, but I, I just never married her. I just, it, it, it turns me off. That's all. If she took care of herself and done things, I, I, I would like her to get down to like 130, 140, maybe 150. It, it just, I, sometimes I just can't deal with it. The only reason I knew her and started dating her when I got out of my marriage, when I was divorced, we met right away and. We need to castrate this man. Like I am not letting him procreate with anybody because. He's making me look bad. You know what my girl always tells me? She always tells me, you're the dumbest smart person I know. Which, probably friggin' true. We hit it off. We talked about a lot of similar things. And she, at the, at the time, loved to go outside and do things. Now she can't go outside because of her allergies and stuff like that. She, she just won't go outside. She said... I think she's allergic to her piece of crap boyfriend sending steam gift cards to every woman that winks at him online. It's in the house all the time. Sarah knows I have a girlfriend. Our plans were she's going to come to Buffalo. We're going to meet in a hotel room. Then I'm going to get on the phone and I'm going to call Jennifer and tell her that I was going to leave her. Until that time comes, I, I just, I can't bring myself to do it. But until the time comes, I'm going to have to do it. So you need a safety blanket is what you're saying. You're trying to get out here, mess around, whatever. And I, baby mama? Did they? Oh yeah, he did say they have a 14 year old. That's crazy that you would treat her like such trash. And you're just talking about her weight like that? You're freaking balding. You're ugly as hell. 
Sarah is out of your league by a mile, but you just refuse to treat the people in your life that do all this for you and treat you good like they're valuable human beings. You treat them like garbage. It says a lot about you. There is a lot of arguing because she wants me to send $50,000 to her and I refuse Damn. to. Her lawyer told me, uh, she told me that it was for taxes being paid on properties and it's actually like 65,000, but I told her I was only- Buddy, you are getting taken for the ride of all friggin' rides. And you're talking about women always want money out of me, but the chick that you're just kind of fantasizing over pitching a tent over is the one that gets it all. I don't get it. I'm only gonna come up with 50. That's the only thing she's got to pay for her father's taxes. And she just keeps saying soon that we'll be together. Soon, soon, soon. Well, I've heard that for like almost eight months now. I, I just can't, I can't take it no more. I, I... As soon as we get this friggin' money run out and then you figure out it's not a BBL, it's a BBC. <laughs> love the pictures. I would love to fall in love with the girl. She's a beautiful girl but I, I don't know if she's real or not. I thought that after $16,000 later that I would be with her. I gotta pay to see you. Shit, 16K, buddy. Try triple on that at least, and then you might get a like foot pick or something. You know, we're both in love, but if I don't pay to see you, you're gonna find another man someplace else. And she's admitted to that several times. For food, I'm still sending her like 20 or $30 a week so she can live off on food. Nah, this chick don't look that hungry. And as much as you're talking about your current girlfriend's weight, you probably should be feeding her and not giving it to some random dude online. I'm reaching out to you guys to see if she is real. I, I've i sent pictures. Well, she's real. I need to find out if this girl is real or not real. Just not it's real too, to you. too much money involved to go back and forth. I, I can't do it no more. I got to find out if it's real or not. I, I just, I watch all the shows. I don't know if those up top are real, but I always said if I can like touch them, they're real to me. I've seen a lot of things and I, I need, I need to find out if this girl is real or not. Our team looked over all the information that Rob sent to us and began to search for answers. We knew we had to get Sarah on the phone. We needed to hear her voice. I had Rob send a text message to Sarah stating, if you don't call me right now, you will never get any more money from me. Ooh, I wonder how quick that damn phone rang this time. Because if you would have went to that hotel room, I have a feeling you would have been the one getting a stick in, you know? Me. She called three minutes after that text was sent. Sarah <laughs> didn't know I was on the other line, listening close to the whole conversation. I, I want to send you this money, but uh, I, ha I have to have a way to send it. Okay? okay? Yeah. Oh, that's a man. That is so a man. I can hear the testicles already. Next thing we did was find out who this person was in these photos that were being sent to Rob. We ran a reverse image search and got results in minutes. Stick around till the end to hear what Sarah's voice sounds like for the first time. You are not going to want to miss it. Oh yeah, I'm waiting to hear the bass in this voice. It was time to sit down with Rob and let him know what we had found. Rob, how's it going? Hey Rob. Good, good. So you are in a relationship right now? Yes. What made you want to have a relationship and then pursue another one on the side? I Because Rob's so damn horny it's dripping out of his eyes. I guess it was the, the interest of being liked, I guess, and somebody talking to you. And did you not feel like you had that in your current relationship? Right, it's Pride Month. I like you. Please? <laughs> Chip. I did, but we, we have our own problems here and there, and it's just, it, it just happens. <laughs> it's a relationship, so I just pursued the other issue, figuring I could... Uh, sometime leave the person I'm with to go with the other one. Oh man, you really shouldn't talk this much, buddy. Cause you just make yourself sound worse and friggin' worse. Trust me, I know something about talking too much. Are you gonna reveal to Jennifer what y you've been going through? Does she know about this? She knows nothing about it. 
Oh my god. She probably would pick up and leave and take my son with her. But you were gonna leave her though, right? At one point, yes. Have I ever seen Sarah? Look at this guy. Friggin' buddy would screw a snake if you hold the head. You slimy mother. I want to run through a few things with you. So I'm going to go through the questions and Brianne is actually going to reveal a lot of the stuff that she's investigated over this past week for you, okay? Okay. Starting with the email, you know, we searched the email from the lawyer and what we had found out was there was no online footprint, meaning we couldn't find any trace of that email online. If this- Oh yeah, it's definitely Big Bubba the Booty Snatcher was a reputable lawyer we should be able to find something from him and we couldn't find anything the next thing i wanted to touch on was the the gift cards that were sent you know something that we tell anyone who's used gift cards to oh yeah buddy loves to give the gift cards are you looking for any steam gift cards because uh you look pretty good too sweetie send to someone online is they're untraceable there's no personal information attached to them so with that being said, there's no way to retrieve any of the funds. There's also no way to find out who used them and where. Um, in this case, it does look like a VPN was used when the gift card was cashed, meaning it looks as if the gift card was used in the United States. However, it's always them damn Steam gift cards too. Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj, Britney Spears all wanted them from me. However, there's no actual proof of where it was used or how it was redeemed. So basically what happens is you go, you get a gift card, you scratch off the number, you send them the number, and they go to websites or they have, you know, quote unquote brokers that will cash in the gift cards for either cash or Bitcoin. They tip. Do you have to do that online? Cause I know here in Maryland, you could go to the hood spot in Baltimore at a pawn shop and sell your gift cards for 50 cents on the dollar. Typically get about 80 cents on the dollar, depending well, on how better. they're redeeming those gift cards and it's not traceable and they all use untraceable ways to do it. So they either go through like a third party broker that does this for a living um, or they'll use third party websites like Paxful um, to redeem these gift cards. And so that's how they're actually getting the money from these. Bro, how are you women not out here just honey trapping everybody? You can make 16K just telling a guy he needs to pay for your damn food and flashing a little yitty. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, I, I called Apple at one time to trace the gift cards. This was a while ago. And they said they were cashed in California someplace. That's all yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm sure a big question you have, who's the real person behind the images? Yes. <laughs> we found her. Yeah, so she's actually a model. She's in her 30s. She's happily married. and Damn, buddy. Here you are. Oh, the dog's cute. I want the dog. Look at that underbite. Forget her. I was going to say something about her, you know, already having somebody rocking her world. But look at the dog. He's so cute. She's definitely not the person that you have been talking to. But one thing, too, so she's into cosplay. And so she does a lot of costumes and different things for cosplay. And one thing we found is like when the images that you were sent, almost all those images came from her Facebook profile. I'm curious, Rob, where- Could she cosplay as a gift card broker? <laughs> where does this leave you with Sarah? I'm staying here with Jennifer and my son. So- Oh. Uh, I can't- uh, Okay. I can't text her. You know, I'll, I'll probably text her one more time saying, uh, hey, you, you are not who you are. I need to speak to Jennifer immediately because she needs to know what this friggin' tool bag is doing behind her back. Because the second he found out that Sarah Snatch was off the friggin' table, I love her so much. Uh, yeah, of course. You're so, oh, you're so slimy. Uh, you know, leave me alone, regardless. Well, it's probably a guy on the other end that you have a dog to do. Mm -hmm. you, know, you had talked about... Bubba the Booty Bandit. Like, um you know, your current girlfriend's weight and how you are just gonna leave her for this other w woman. People are gonna watch this and I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are infuriated. To be honest, I was a little infuriated when I, when I heard those comments. It sounds misogynistic. Uh, yeah, it definitely does. And I guarantee she could tell us a few small problems with you too, buddy, because you're definitely getting off that little dick energy. What do you have to say to those people? 
Well, I sorry that uh, you know some things happened like this. I was, I thought I was caught up in a relationship online, and I wasn't. I was uh, cheap. caught up. You were a friggin' the Steam gift card plug. What are you talking about? Caught up in a relationship? He did over that. I mean, technically, like if it was a real relationship, you you technically cheated. Yeah. I'm sure there's more to a relationship that we don't know, but I mean, it doesn't seem like a very good situation for either one of you guys. Well, I just, I do it to try to keep the, the boy needs a father and a mother, you know, one mother, one father. Uh, uh, you can be replaced. That's what I've told every one of my guy friends that starts to step out on their wife or whatever. And I was like, whenever you think you want to do that, just think about your girl getting bareback blasted behind Burger King, and you won't want to do it anymore. Uh, not two different other people. When kids are younger, they just they can't deal with that stuff that goes on like that. What do you want to tell her if she wa ever watches this? Forgiveness that uh, I was caught up in a relationship that I never should have been in, and I probably should have told her right at the beginning. Well, hopefully we stay together. A few other Bruh, they've got things out there that are way cheaper than 16 grand that look like a little flashlight. Get you one of those. Other things too, like we listened to the recording, the girl sounds like she's from the Philippines. And one interesting thing when I, when I listened to the, the call was that um, it almost sounded like the girl that you were talking to was being coached by someone else because there was always a delay. So you would say something, mm -hmm. there'd be a delay and then a response. And so it almost sounds like, you know, somebody was either texting them while you guys were talking. It's probably the guy that was sitting there blasting your pretend Sarah. Or on the phone her while hubby. you guys were talking and they were coaching her through it. I, I want to send you this money, but uh, I, ha I have to have a way to send it. Okay? Okay. I don't know if I want to go all gift cards or not. There's got to be a, we got to have a different way of sending this, but I want to send it because I want to see you. Bro, I told you I didn't need to watch the friggin' guy one. I know how dumb we are. I was just amazed at the women that were sending their friggin' life savings. But this guy's not far behind. If there was a gift card in his friggin' area, he got it. And then friggin' some woman in the Philippines got it. Are you still there? Oh my god. Send it. It's, you gotta slow down. Send you a card, you said? Uh, is that what you said? Send you a card? Bro, that's what they always said to me when I. Because I like to troll those people so much. And when I'm like, okay, I'm on my way to the store, I'll drive 100 miles an hour for you, baby. Yeah, I'll either pretend I got in a car crash, right? Or I'll message them back and pretend I figured it out who they really are. Or like I'll usually sit there and be like, oh, I, I, I can't find gift cards. I'll just play stupid. Usually you can get a pretty funny reaction where they send you a message and they're like, just send it as soon as you get it. Take a clear picture with the receipt. That's what they're always friggin' worried about. Sarah? Thank you, $2,000. Okay, well, I could probably do that later on. After I get off the phone, oh, I'm, I'm at a hole right now. I, I, I want to talk to you for a little bit. Well, oh, yeah. I'm actually kind of right now. So, that's why I really like you. Okay, I, I, I understand that. But you, do you have a volume thing on your phone you can turn up? or? What are you talking about? They don't have volume things on their phone. They have money in their account from you. What, what, what time is it there now? Yeah, it's 7.18 over here. What do you think about Sarah's voice? What kind of accent do you think she has? Let us know in the comment section below. I'm terrible with friggin' accents, but it looks like it's 18 minutes past give me my damn money for her. I do wish you the best. Um, I, I hope if Jennifer watches this, I hope that she's the kind human being that, you know, she sounds like. Oh, no. You know, and I hope you guys can work it out. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you, Rob. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching.
you're so scummy. I want her, I don't want her to be a kind human being. I want her to immediately light your shit on fire, sleep with your brother, and then tell you to get the hell out. And while she's at it, maybe catch a couple cousins too. Cause you, oh, you were talking about her weight, how you were keeping her around on the back burner. Like, usually these are pretty funny when they fall for it, but this one just makes me feel so bad for her. Because guys can be slimy. Women can be slimy too, don't get me wrong. But this guy, something about him just pisses me all the way off. But alright guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.